What's up crew? Thanks for coming back. And if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. This video is a part of my Doobie Industries series where I'm building projects with only the resources that I have and gaining resources with every new project we accomplish. And right now we have no money and only our computer and our video production equipment to make things. And our project portfolio is mostly bots, games, and videos about making bots and games. So let's talk about our new bot. I've had the idea for something that posts a random YouTube channel for a while. I think it'd be cool to promote channels that might not be getting the recognition that they deserve. In addition, I think that it might highlight some channels that could be flying under the radar but deserve to be banned. In other words, channels that are posting illegal content that are yet to be reported. And I think going through random URLs is a pretty straightforward way of doing it. So let's talk about the code. And I'll emphasize the logic so that if you don't understand Python, you'll still be able to follow along. Let's go. It's actually a lot more straightforward than I thought it was going to be. Essentially, it's a random URL generator that must start with YouTube.com com slash at and it generates a random stream of characters between 1 and 30 characters in length. This is because YouTube only allows up to 30 characters for a username. That means there are 48.8 quadradecillion combinations. And so to reduce this, every time it tries a combination, we add it to the set so that it doesn't try it again. And in addition, we check to make sure that our URL doesn't redirect to a 404 bad request or any error page like that. To do this, we use our friends Beautiful Soup 4 and requests. And for those who are unfamiliar, these are just essentially tools that retrieve data from web pages. These already built tools are called Python libraries. And finally, once the bot has an actual YouTube channel, it posts it. But wait. This bot's not quite done. It's getting weird connection errors. I don't know what's going on on the connection side of things, but our hourly species bot is working just fine, so it's gotta be something on the YouTube side of things. So we're just gonna put in an exception so that if it comes back with a connection error, it'll keep trying URLs until it receives a good one. And additionally, it's posting accounts that only have three or four characters to the username. But this also kind of makes sense. It's gonna be a heck of a lot easier to find usernames with a shorter amount of characters than it is to find them with longer amount of characters. And in fact, when I tried to have it increase the amount of characters with every new successful URL, it took this long to go from seven to eight characters, and I didn't even let it finish. It's still searching for a username with more than seven characters. That's not good. One way to fix that is to use the Google API. We can set a list of criteria, for example, has at least one subscriber, has at least one video, and it has at least a certain amount of characters and we can pull a random channel using that. But we aren't gonna do that. If we run that for every half hour, we're gonna exceed our free usage in Google API in about 100 days. Right now, we don't have any revenue. So it's gonna stay posting only what it can find. And of course, this is a reason to get familiar with Google API. That way, when we are making money and it's time to upgrade the bot, then we'll already be familiar with Google API. So we're gonna leave it posting whatever combination of characters it can at the moment, but most likely it's gonna hover around the three, the four, maybe the five character limit, just because it exceeds exponentially harder to find one the more characters we have. So that's all for now, crew. You can find the bot going right now on Twitter at randomytbot, and don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. It means so much to me, and thank you for watching all the way through. See you in the next project. Bye.